Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. In the last episode, we finally took care of some stuff in and around Aquaria, finally. So, that whole quadrant is now safe at last, but now there are earthquakes and whatnot happening in Fireburg. So apparently, we've got to find and save another crystal. Let's go ahead and go to Fireburg. See what we can do. A guy came in saying he could open any lock. Well, that's an interesting thing to learn first thing you come into a town. I'd like to help you, but you have enough explosive. Okay, this guy will sell its bombs if we need any. Nice. Also, there's a hotel here. And there's a rather big hotel. And apparently there is live music here. We can rest here for 95 GP. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. Nope. Also, this is a really nice take on the village music. I love it. And I wonder if we can get a concert. Oh, we can get seeds here. Interesting. I may buy some later on. But not right now. And this woman will sell us cure potions if we need any, which is really, really good. And What's this guy doing here? Nice to see you again, kid. Tristram's just hanging out at the bar! Don't know why, but, well, he's there. And if you talk to this woman, you can finally listen to the music that this man is playing. Just select yes. And you'll get this Chuck Berry sounding music. It's supposed to be a variation of Johnny B. Good, but it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is. Can we talk to Tristram again? Not really. And we might as well go ahead and go to this house as well. We might as well go through all the houses that are here. And we have yet another unique character sprite. You're Reuben, huh? Have you heard about the Crystal of Fire? I can't deal with that now. I've got to help Dad. Well, why don't you let me help you? He's stuck behind the boulder. There'd be no problem if he had a Mega Grenade, but only Dad's friend can use them. Where's the guy's house? in this town, but he shut himself in. We'll pay him a visit anyway, come on. And we now have more party members. Ruben is level 23, has over a thousand hit points, and he has a flail. He has a morning star. So we don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of shurikens or arrows. And if we open this chest, we will get some refreshers. You can't let a monster get the best of you. And I thought that would lead to a door, but apparently not. Oh well. But yeah, um, once we leave this area, we're definitely going to hit up the battlefields that I skipped at the end of the last video. A mask lets you see the monsters or the gas in the volcano. So we have yet another magic mirror-like item for another specific dungeon in the game. Alright, cool. And if you talk to this woman here, she will sell her battle axe for 500 GP. You'll want to take it because it is more powerful than the axe that you got from Kylie way back at the beginning of the game. And if you go down these stairs, you get another Gemini tile. Hmm. That'll definitely take us somewhere. And let's see what else we can do. Well, we're back at the entrance, so all we can do now... That's not what I wanted, but... Actually, I will be saving later now that I think about it. And let's go over here, because there's not much else that you can do. How do we get down there? Well, first things first. We want to go down here, go to this house. We find that the door's locked. Let's see if we can use a bomb on the door. No, we cannot. And you can't really use the axe. So, 
we are going to have to do something here. And I don't know how the game expects you to figure this out. But you're supposed to go back to the hotel and talk to Tristram. What's up? We went to the house in the pit, but the guy wouldn't let us in. You two want in? Then take this. And we get the multi-key, which will allow us to break into that guy's house. So we need to go back down there. I see that area down there. And now I'm quite curious as to how to get over there. That is rather interesting. And it doesn't look like you can do it anywhere around here. So let's go ahead and head back to where Ruben's dad's friend is. Rom button. And we should be able to open the key now. Open the door with the key, I should say. And we can talk to this guy. I ran when I saw the vultures in the volcano. A huge bear boulder fell and trapped Arion. Only a Mega Grenade can free him. How do you use one? Just throw it! And we get the Mega Grenade, which replaces a Jumbo Bomb. Go through the abandoned mine to reach the boulder. And the Mega Grenade is the most powerful bomb weapon in the game. And we have another symbol that we've never seen before if we go downstairs. So now we have two more crests to pick up along the way, and we're going to have to find them. So now that we got that... Ah, uh, wrong button. But you can kind of tell what you're supposed to do. You can actually throw the Mega Grenades from four spaces away, which is really, really nice. So that's r r worth considering doing in case you need to hit something from a distance. And it doesn't seem like there's any hidden passages down there. I wonder if I missed anything down at the... No, Tristram's gone. So there's no... Thi nothing downstairs that we can really take advantage of. So we're going to have to find another way in. For now though, I do want to go to the battlefields that I was at. And what do we got over here? Well, we got a new enemy here, and I'll try to show them off if I can. The Jelly. And we are attacked first. These are definitely more powerful versions of the green slimes that we met way back at the beginning of the game, and that's really got us smart. But if you have the Mega Grenades equipped, you can make very quick work of them because they are weak to the bomb attack. And for that, we now have a battlefield that we can do very easily. And with that, I will join you when I either level up or get to the last battle. You know the drill by now. Okay, well, never mind. I uh, leveled up to level 19 already. So now we are at 760 HP. Amazing how the ally characters have more HP than we do for their level. Kind of weird. Anyway, be right back. And every battle in here has been nothing but jellies. 
so much for that. But for cleaning this battlefield out, we get 900 GP, which is definitely going to be useful. And now it's time to take on another battlefield. We should be meeting a new enemy soon, and there it is, the Sting Rats. They don't really seem to be weak to anything. So, might as well just let loose on these. I'm going to go ahead and keep using the Morning Stars on the jellies here. And apparently, I was able to take out the Sting Rat with ease. And it's a good thing that we end this battlefield on a Sting Rat, because these guys can hit you with Poison Sting if you let them. And yes, it will poison you. If it is able to. And really nice critical hit there. But for clearing this battlefield out, we get something that is really, really good here. The Gemini Crest. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and use it on the one that we saw in Firebird. Where was it? What? No, no, no. The weird-looking crest was uh, Ruben's dad's friend's house. I believe this is the one with the Gemini tile. Here we go. We, now that we have the Gemini crest, we are now in Aquaria again. So we no longer have to go to the... To the focus Tower... Can't even get the words out right now. In order to go between Aquaria and Farberg. Now, there was another place that we could go to where we could use the Gemini Crest. Was it Wintry Temple? I believe it was, but we still can't get in there yet. I think we've already been in the Libra Temple and used the, used the crest there, haven't we? Yeah, we've already used that crest. So let's go ahead and head back to Aquaria. How am I doing on heal potions? Eh, I might as well grab some more from... Why am I going towards the Falls Basin? That's not even completely right. As I was saying, since I'm heading back to Aquaria here, it's only right that we head to Phoebe's house real quick. Get some heal potions. Go ahead and... Oh, you can't go that way anymore. I forgot you could never go that way. This is where we want to go. Now might as well go ahead and grab the refreshers too. Because why not? And let's go ahead and go back downstairs and take the... Gemini tile back over to Farberg. If I could have just jumped over her, that would have been fine. Not oh well. And let's go ahead and face some more monsters, because why not? We're not going to go to the battlefield here, and there should be a new enemy that we can take on. There he is, the Plant Man. He's weak to axe attacks. And apparently, the Morning Star that Ruben uses is also considered an axe attack. That reminds me, I need to save my game and do the reset thing so I can show off Ruben's armor. That's not what I wanted. That's not the thing that I wanted. Let's go ahead and save the game here. Reset. You're finally going to see this in action. Because I just now remembered that this is a thing. 
And let's go ahead and does it save our battle for your progress? Yes, it does. All right. As you can see here, Ruben has fire defense, but that's about it. At this point, you're going to have probably going to have better armor defense wise and protection wise than your allies will. And let's see here. Well, Ruben's a lot stronger than we are, but we kind of figured that out. He's also a lot faster than we are, but we also figured that out. And that, that is a Morning Star. What else does he have for, for stuff? Flame armor, a charm, and a steel helm. So not very much. Also, the only spell he has is life, and he has 23 spell charges for it. Still better than nothing. Anyway, you kind of know how I'm going to do these battlefield things by now. See you there. You're probably wondering how the plant men attack. They more or less attack much like the mad plants from the level forest. And by clearing this battlefield out, we get 816 experience. Not too bad. And we have two more battlefields that we need to contend with. So, let's go ahead and enter this area. There is a enemy that I wanted to face here, but... Well, apparently he didn't show up. Not yet, at least. Let me see if he shows up in this battle. Still nothing. Well, at least you're getting really quick battles and everything, but I want to show off the one guy that I had in mind. Huh. There he is. The Flizzards. These guys are weak to water. So, we can use Blizzard against these guys. Of course, you can easily take them down. So, I don't know why you'd want to use Blizzard on them. You can just as easily take them down as your weapons at this point. If you've been to every battlefield and you did a little bit of leveling up before the Minotaur and the level for us at least all right figured some things out while in the fourth battlefield around Fireburg you can also get sting rats here the plant man can attack with bad breath which can paralyze you and the flazars can also paralyze you with peristare also you're better off using the mega grenades even against a single flazard And apparently these guys can poison you as well. Great. But for clearing this battlefield out, we get 1,200 GP. So let's go ahead and head back to Fireburg. We might as well just go ahead and use the hotel because we probably got like a whole bunch of... things that we can do here. I might as well go ahead and rest up. How am I doing on... No, okay, I, I can get see the uh, GP from here. 6,000, not too bad. So maybe after this battlefield, I may buy some more seeds for just in case. Now, though, there is one last battlefield that I want to go to before I call it a video, and it's right here. Are we going to get the new enemy early? Yes, we will. The Red Caps. You can take them out with the Jumbo Grenades, 
Same as the Flizzards there. But they are also weak to water, just like the Flizzards. So if you need to, go ahead and use Blizzard on all of them. You should be good. Hmm. Apparently it's not powerful enough yet. Did I attack myself again? No, I didn't. Good. And we are now at level 20. And we still have nine more to go. So, see you on the other side. Alright, this should be your last battle for this video. And for clearing this fifth and final battlefield out, we get thunder for Benjamin. Finally, Benjamin has a wizard attack. So now, we might as well go back to the inn. Or the hotel, as the game wants to call it. Let's go ahead and rest up here. We'll definitely get some more gold as we go through the mines in the next video. And I want to see how many I can get here. Well, eh, still since there are 50 seeds of 50 uh, GP a pop, um, I guess I'll do 40 of them. That should definitely be more than enough. So now we're stocked up on seeds. I can use the use my spell charges a lot more freely in battle. Something that I wish I was able to deal with a little better in the ice pyramid, but that is all right. Next up, we are going to the mine in the next video. So join me next time where I go through the mine and take care of stuff that really needs to be taken care of and see if we can also rescue Ruben's dad. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!